All right, we're going to draw the mount for the microphone. That's this little guy right here. The piece that actually clips onto the mic goes into this and then it swivels on this hole. So let's start a new drawing. And we can actually start by stealing the ridges from the wheel screw over here. And we will also take the cylinder. I don't know if we want this kind of tapering. So let's back back out here a little bit. Let's see, that one still is too much. And then we'll just take this cylinder. So in this mount, the ridges are going to start at the very bottom of the part, so I have to adjust for that. And our ridges are 20.9 tall. And the cylinder, I think we're just going to do all of our cuts on the same piece. Uh, there is some risk that if uh, something goes stale on it, three cuts in, we might have to back out of it, but um, I don't think it'll be too bad. So let's give it a shot and bring this all the way up to 47. We could almost do a revolved sketch to a cut if we drew the profile of this. There's going to be one taper and an arc, a 90 degree arc here. Let's give it a try. Hi.
All right, we've got our sketch. Now we need to revolve it. And if we did it right, we should see, there we go. So inside there, you can see how we've got the taper and the, and the round off. So I might be able to see better if we turn on wireframe for a sec. Kind of see it. We create some sort of transparency on this. There it is. You can kind of see it in there. So now we're going to use this basically as a cut. So if we take our old cylinder there, grab the revolve, and just like that. So now we've got the, whoop, I guess it's going to stay transparent like that. So we can mark a few numbers off here. Bottom of the taper, top of the taper. Let's make sure that's 24.6. It is. Uh, 24 millimeters around the above the ridges is that to be radius of 12. <clears throat> and when we look at the Oops, when we look at the y value, or I guess the x, here we got 12. Ridge diameter 25. Uh, if we take a look right here, that x value is 12 and a half. So that's giving us our 25 millimeter diameter at the ridge out, outsides. Uh, the ridge height, that's the y value for this surface here. And then we, we got it by a z, sorry, a z. So the z height is 20.9. We've got 90 ridges so done from the wheel screw. Uh, the top of the taper is 20 millimeters diameter. So this x should be 10, and it is. Uh, the total height is 47. We've got that dialed in. That's way up here. That's this very point there. That's Z. That's 47. All right, now we can get into the notch. Let's do a save. So our notch is going to be six millimeters. So which way do we want to cut it? Well, I don't know. I guess we can cut it in the direction of perpendicular to this. So we'll just make it a six millimeter wide. Um, so it's going to be centered. On the middle of it, so we need to do a positional adjustment of negative three in the x. The bottom part of the notch is going to fit at 27 and a half. So we'll set that here. Uh, the height of it, it just needs to go with not the y. The y, well, the y. It's going to have to be at least 25. We'll go 26 and do a minus 13 on the offset there. Kind of give it a little more than it needs. And then bump it up to 27.5. And 
And if we look at the part, we can see that there is some amount of material there before the, uh, you know, there's after the taper ends and it goes up a ways and then the notch starts. So that's the 27 and a half millimeter from the base. So that should be good enough to do our cut. So we need to select that first and then the cutter second. Go to the Boolean cut. And there we have it. Still coming up somewhat transparent, oddly enough. See so if we can correct that. 